Welcome back to the KSPR Close Up. If you're looking for a racy calendar this year, change the channel. But we should tell you there is a local group showing off some bare body parts in a new 2010 calendar right here for a good cause. Joining us now is Gail Noggle, and you're not doing this, you're doing this on your own, but you're doing this for the Breast Cancer Foundation of the Ozarks. That's correct. And then Miss February, Sandy <laughs> Kaufman. Thank you guys so much for being with Thank us. You. Thank you. Well, let's talk about this calendar. We were kind of surprised. There's a, a lot more naked body parts than what I thought. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what you would expect. We want you to think that. <laughs> <laughs> There's really no naked body parts, but okay. we want you to think that. <laughs> so tell me how you got it together. Well, uh, actually, I stole the idea. Uh, there was a Calendar Girl movie about 10 years ago. They uh, aired an episode on today's show about two months ago on the 10-year anniversary. And I've always done a lot of volunteer work in Springfield and saw that and thought, you know, that'd be a great fundraiser. Um, very um, dear person, uh, Mary Beth O'Reilly, to many of us, uh, who is the founder of BCFO. I thought, if I do it for any charity right off the bat, I want to do it for, for BCFO and, and for Mary Beth. What was it like to make the phone call to get all of your friends oh, to do it? it, it that's what made me keep going. I uh, got up on a Sunday and after church got on the phone and started calling friends like Sandy and people I've known many years and the laughter on the other end. I thought, <laughs> I, got, I got to do this. I got to do it. And so, uh, yeah, it happened. Sandy, was it easy for you or, or did you laugh at the other, on the other end of the line? I was a laugher at the other <laughs> end. She called and asked me if I was aware of, of the movie and I said, yes. <laughs> and she said, well, I got this harebrained idea. What do you think? And she told me and I said, yeah. And so she asked me if I would be one of the girls and I said, I'd be more than happy to. And then when she told me who the foundation or the, the, the organization mm -hmm. where the proceeds were going to go to, it just clenched it. Well, what was it like to bear all? Tell me, I mean, how it really worked. Because you didn't bear all. So. No, I did not bear all. Um, I did have a one-piece swimsuit on. Okay. Um, the funny thing was is that um, my prop is a newspaper. And my husband and I own a, a, a small newspaper. And unfortunately, the newspaper wasn't as large as we <laughs> needed it to be, so we kind of had to graduate to a bigger newspaper, but, but uh, yeah, it there was it a is. lot of there fun. There you, yeah, there you, are. you have nice legs, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I will say this, so avoid any controversy. Oh. we got to avoid controversy here. Did you guys airbrush? <laughs> Uh, no, we didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only our hairdresser Dan, knows. Dan Emery, Dan Emery did a wonderful job. Yes. He, was, he was great to, um, he, in fact, he uh, allowed me to bring in these girls and we had talked on the phone about what their props were going to be and I said, if you need to, practice in front of the mirror and they came and we set them up and then Dan would come in and he'd work his magic. So uh, he, he, was, he was awesome. Well, you did yeah. a great job and we thank put you. the information for your signing tonight as well. So. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. Well, now let's go over to Kevin.